This is a compound bow. It has been screwed and bolted to a wood stock. It was overbuilt to see if a particular principle would work. An arrow will go no faster than a string moves. The length of the string on this bow has been shortened where the pulleys are, thus condensing the energy of acceleration. The closer the string parallels the arrow, the more efficient it is. The smaller the width of the newly formed bow string, the more powerful it becomes. There are multiple settings so a person can choose what they are comfortable with. Multiple settings are also needed with experimental work. The closer to the center and toward the front, with the pulley wheels are moved, the more powerful it becomes. The principle involved is the same as the action of a bullwhip where the energy of motion is forced to the tip of the whip. The pop of a whip is a tip breaking a sound barrier in a very small location. Notice that the bow has a lot of bend to it when using this form of loading. For the more powerful settings, extra pulleys may have to be added along the bow. The more pulleys, the less the bow has to flex. This bow is experimental, and a person must be careful they do not break their bow by overstressing it or hurting others by not knowing what they are doing. There is great resistance to the loading of this bow, which is a good thing, because that energy of resistance is transferred to the arrow. This is a crude release mechanism. The original used a focal point on top. The loading stresses tore the pin out of the original experiment. The pins need to go across the width of the strap. This is set on the least powerful setting. I don't know if the bowstring could break or not. The entire string may need to be made of wire. Narrow metal holes should be made for the bowstring instead of using a wide strap. This will be necessary on the high energy settings. This design is able to be used underwater when the string parallels that of the arrow. Launch time. Okay. This has been set on a rock along the lake. This piece of wood is going to be my launch trigger. I'm going to set it in between the straps and and I'm going to twist it and the arrow is going to launch. I'm going to point up toward the, to the sky and at the same time do the mechanism and we'll see if we can see the arrow go. See the arrow? It really goes fast. I have no idea where it went. The first time I shot this it was like the arrow just disappeared. Anyway, there you go. It's a kind of a fun thing to do, but you've got to be careful.